It's no secret that Dan Levy's charisma is off the charts, so we can't blame you for wanting to find out more about him. His creativity has taken him well beyond the script and set of Schitt's Creek. Here is the untold truth of Dan Levy. Dan Levy comes from what could easily be described as comedic royalty. His father and Schitt's Creek co-creator and co-star Eugene Levy is a comedic legend, having starred in films like Best in Show, Waiting for Guffman, and American Pie. Nevertheless, Dan Levy had to work pretty hard to make a name for himself. In an interview with the SAG-AFTRA Foundation, Levy explained how he'd initially avoided working with his famous father. For a long time, I avoided any kind of association with him because I feel like this industry is incredibly unforgiving when it comes to just the blanket lazy of nepotism. Instead, Levy worked hard to forge his own path. Levy ended up getting a hosting job on MTV's The Hills. As he explained to Variety, this job helped him establish himself outside of his family, saying, "...it was amazing for me, just in terms of the freedoms it afforded me, and the confidence I was given, not just as a host, but as someone who was trying to make a name for myself outside of my dad." Even though Dan Levy created and wrote most of Schitt's Creek himself, he actually ended up learning a few things from his characters, particularly when it comes to romance. Levy told Out, "...everyone has an arsenal of bad relationship stories, but one of the things I've since long overcome was a feeling of not being worthy." Apparently, he used this personal journey while writing his character, David, in the show. As he put it to Variety, "...there's a level of catharsis in writing." Unlike his character in Schitt's Creek, Levy said that he hadn't had quite as many bad relationships, though he went on to say, "...but I do think the takeaway from writing it, acting it, and then editing it, and watching it back is, yeah, in a way I wrote that for myself." You can hopefully find someone that is really into you and not a version of yourself that you think someone would be more interested in. Dan Levy is nothing if not a workaholic. In 2020, he spoke to Bustle about his frankly insane work schedule during Schitt's Creek. Apparently, the actor was driven to set at 5 a.m. each morning, where he would prepare for the day's filming, rehearsing, and rewrites. Then, he was involved in wardrobe fittings. After all, Levy was always super involved in the clothes on the show. Next up, Levy would act or direct before heading back to the writer's room. Finally, he'd get back home at 8 p.m., wolf down some dinner, then keep on writing. Apparently, the star sometimes only got two hours of sleep. For Levy, this hectic, nonstop schedule meant that there wasn't really time for much else. He revealed, "...when you're doing something that you love, it's like I have a full plate. Even though Schitt's Creek was super intense, and even though at times I need a neck break, it was never not inspiring, and it was never not thrilling and exciting and totally satisfying." It's pretty clear that Schitt's Creek was a real labor of love for Dan Levy. In 2019, he announced on Twitter his decision to end the show after its sixth season. But even though Levy wrapped things up on his own terms, when the end finally came, it was pretty emotional. In a touching Instagram post from the last day of filming, Levy can be seen weeping in the arms of his co-star Amy Murphy. He wrote, "...tears are a good thing. It means you care." As Levy told the Associated Press at the time of the final season's release, "...I thought I would be better off than I am, to be honest. I thought, you know, I wrote the season, I cried then, I shot the season, I cried then, I edited the season, I cried then." It's clear that Levy did care a lot. Even though Dan Levy is super confident now, when he was young, he wasn't quite as sure of himself. As he told Bustle, his anxiety became so bad, he started to avoid social gatherings. Eventually, his anxiety even manifested itself in a physical eye inflammation called iritis. Levy explained, "...I think that came from a deep-rooted fear of knowing that I was gay and not being able to be free." Eventually, Levy reached high school, where his anxiety and confusion reached a peak. He explained, "...it led to a very confusing time. You are now being introduced to things like self awareness awareness and anxiety. At the same time, you're becoming more and more savvy when it comes to hiding it." Even though Levy eventually came out as gay, his anxiety has remained an issue for him. As he told Out, "...I have anxiety at the best of times. I'm a proud ball of anxiety in front of a computer. That is the reality." Dan Levy was pretty anxious to come out to his parents, but in the end, the experience wasn't as terrible as it might have been. In fact, as he revealed on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen, his mother asked Levy to come out while they were having lunch. She almost knew. My mom and I have a very close relationship in that sense, and it almost felt like she knew that I was ready. Apparently, his dad Eugene also saw it coming, saying, "...we knew for the longest time. We were waiting, and then mom couldn't wait any longer." After coming out, according to GQ, Levy actually found it harder than ever to fit in. Apparently, he started to second-guess his look and his behavior and didn't feel comfortable in his own skin. However, things seem to come to Levy more naturally today. 
It turns out Dan Levy is a passionate activist. In 2020, he spent 13 weeks taking an Indigenous Studies course online through the Canadian University of Alberta. On Twitter, Levy claimed that the course had been transformational. He went on to say in a video attached to his tweet that after taking the course about Indigenous peoples in Canada, he decided to ask for fans to make donations to the faculty, promising, I'm going to match you dollar for dollar up to $25,000. And that's not the only cause Levy has supported. In 2019, Levy was able to encourage his fans to raise $20,000 for an LGBTQ plus youth charity for his birthday. As the saying goes, dogs are a man's best friend. In Dan Levy's case, this really is true. In his iconic interview, 73 Questions with Dan Levy for Vogue, Levy gushed about his special pup, Redmond, saying, This is my dog and best friend. When asked how the dog would describe himself, he quipped, Better than all of us. And Redmond's best qualities? He is very calm and level-headed, qualities that I strive for every day of my life. By the looks of things on social media, Levy really, really loves his dog. He frequently posts adorable images on Instagram of the dog cuddling him, staring at him, or just hanging out with him. And in 2019, CBC Comedy even posted an entire video about how Redmond was always on set for Schitt's Creek. Apparently, there was a little competition between Redmond and another cast member's dog that ended in an Instagram poll, which, unsurprisingly, Redmond won by leaps and bounds. It's safe to say that Dan Levy is somewhat known for his style, particularly his incredible sweaters as David in Schitt's Creek. Do you like this sweater? Jared Leto gave it to me and I've always been on the fence about it. As the actor confessed in his Vogue interview, he's seriously obsessed with his Rick Owens leather jacket, which he wore in the very first episode. It was actually mine from my own closet. He recalled buying the jacket with his first paycheck. I went to the store in New York, I swiped my credit card, my hand was shaking, uh, and I've worn it every day since, and I'm so glad that it made it into the show. Just like the rest of us, Dan Levy isn't adverse to binge-watching the occasional TV show. As the star explained to W in 2020, he spent much of his COVID-19 lockdown devouring episodes of Hulu's political satire, The Great. As Levy explained, he was already a big fan of the writer, Tony McNamara, who also wrote The Favorite. Levy said, I loved his ability to write about the frivolity and the ridiculousness of power and satirizing it in such a fun and funny and ridiculous way. For me, it was a level of escape. Levy went on to rave about how the show managed to mock power-hungry politics while also delivering outstanding performances and stunning cinematography. In 2021, Dan Levy hit yet another career milestone. He was chosen to host an episode of the famous comedy sketch show Saturday Night Live. In his opening monologue, Levy gushed about the opportunity, saying, I have somehow found myself here on this iconic stage, and trust me when I say this, it has only been good here at SNL. He then proceeded to take the viewers on a tour of the show's safety precautions, showing a series of safety officers with pool noodles for social distancing, some socially distanced cast members in inflatable bubbles, and then, much to the audience's delight, his dad Eugene Levy in a glass isolation box surrounded by guards in full hazmat suits. Dan Levy also appeared in the skits, of course. In one, he played a singing and dancing bartender whose TV broke during the Super Bowl. In another, Levy played a young man in an It Gets Better campaign video about the not-so-glamorous parts of gay life. After hosting, he wrote a humble thank you on Twitter, saying, "...so many people worked so hard to make this dream a reality." In 2020, Dan Levy appeared in HBO's Coastal Elites, a film made up of five direct-to-camera monologues filmed during the COVID-19 pandemic. Levy played Mark, a young gay actor who found himself constantly hiding his identity for his job. Levy explained to TV Guide that the role felt very close to home. At first, Levy was daunted by the prospect of memorizing the five-plus page speech, so he took a pragmatic approach, explaining, "...I sat down and I thought, okay, how many days do I have? When do I want to actually be totally versed in this monologue by?" That then let's count back from that date. He ended up breaking the speech up into chunks and learning a section each day. Pretty smart, if you ask us. While you probably know that Dan Levy loves his fashion, you may not realize that the actor actually has his very own eyewear line. DL Eyewear is quite the passion project for Levy. As he explained in a video, DL Eyewear was an idea that happened as a result of people asking where I always got my glasses from, and I felt a little strange telling a 13-year-old kid to go and spend $600 on a pair of designer eyewear. So Levy decided to create a brand that was more affordable, while still showcasing his iconic style. As Levy told Vogue, the company was originally started in 2013 but was put on hold during Schitt's Creek.
Creek. However, he did use his own eyewear designs on the show, and soon fans had found the company and started buying glasses from the old collection. He explained, These were frames that, yes, I love, but we hadn't put out a new collection since 2014. So he released 23 new frames in 2020, and clearly he was onto something. His new collection sold out in less than 24 hours. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.